Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so you might be wondering why I'm over here and why I don't have a helmet on. Um, it's actually because I need to get an egghead again. Like, it, it might sound weird, but I was looking into some of the stuff that I am missing. Turns out, one of the, one of those things, uh, is in fact an egghead. Which, if you don't remember, is uh, given to you by these egg-headed, these egg-back guys. There we go. Okay, so now I have to get souls and stuff, and I also have to... Yeah, I believe that the way you get it is by feeding it souls, so... Uh, how about we go visit... The Cellar of Pyromancy. Poison resistance. Yeah, four footing. Um, okay. Uh, this should be the uh, So yeah, I actually completely forgot about the fact that you can get pyromancy if you have the egghead. Ah, this area is so big. <laughs> back up. Okay. Um. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Come on. You can get closer. Eh, I don't like it when, uh, that happens. Uh, my control has been acting up as of late, so sometimes I walk forward and it's just like, nah, I don't know if you're walking forward. Thank you. 
Very well. I suppose I can call you fool no longer. I can hardly thank you enough. Please take this. It is all of me. There we go. And we have one of each of those. No luck. Do not let. Cool. So now. Come on. Yeah, as you can tell, this takes a while. Yeah, how about we walk our way back and just take out enemies on the way there? Eh, just wanted to make sure. Okay, how about we head back? Okay, so now that we're back, um, you might say, oh, why didn't you just uh, record yourself uh, walking, uh, teleporting back? Uh, it's because I'm eating right now and I wanted to take a bite. Just like me, your dedication is fully apparent. Only, well, your head looks awful. Why not try this? I've no use for it any longer. Oh, hello. What is it that you... So, I should be able to buy these now. Cool. And now, pull Toxic and Poison, Mr. Buyable. Which means I only need a little bit more for that. Great. Okay, there we go. Uh, toxic mist. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Um. So I also took uh. I also took stock of my. Of what prayers I have as well. Sorry, um, Miracles. Prayer of the Maiden is the name of the achievement. Which, uh, which is what I'm looking at. Which is, I said it like that. Okay, so. So one of the, um, one of the ones that I am missing is Gwendolyn stuff. There we go. Very well. Hunted. Okay, so what we now need is... Oh, I didn't grab any of them. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I only have one. I need, uh... I need ten. This is gonna take a while. Okay, so you might hear my dog in my back in the background for a bit, but um, I'm here in the painted world because I have been farming up uh, souvenirs. So if you don't know, uh, the best way to get souvenirs is to uh, is to go for the crow enemies here, and they drop them at like a ten percent rate, I think. It's uh. It's pretty standard. Um, but now we definitely have enough. <laughs> These guys are going to just drop like a massive amount of throwing knives. Because I've got a lot of uh, humanity from from the enemies 
that we're down there. And on top of that, I'm I'm still wearing the uh, gold serpent ring. One of them didn't drop something. Oh, two now. Okay. Let's drink. Because, uh... Yeah, all we really need is, uh... All we really need is something to... Man, I'm just completely out of it. I would open up uh, one of the sodas that I was saying around here, but not really in the mood for that, let's just say. I believe the uh, entrance will be over here. Look at that dust. Oh wait, no. Right. It's gonna be here. Okay, so now that we have 10 ears, we can actually talk to him again. Welcome back, Blade of the Dark Moon. If mine... Uh... All 10. Dark Moon Talisman and the Dark Moon Blade. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm, that, uh, that Dark Moon Talisman is apparently fairly good. So, uh, wait, what exactly, oh, yeah, that's way out of the, uh, bounds of what I'm capable of. Just level up really quickly. I'm actually at max vitality that I feel I need to go to right now, so currently leveling up strength and, sorry, endurance, and then the rest is just going to go into strength and dexterity. Maybe, uh, maybe a bit into which other stat, uh, yeah. All I have left is endurance, strength, and dexterity now. Which I'm going to put up 60, and then I'm going to just keep putting the these two until I basically run out of... Until I run out. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I've done some uh, cursory digging. Once again, I have uh, moved things around improperly. So, um... Again, I could go to the DLC, but I kind of don't want to. Um, the final remaining things that I technically have to do when it comes to doing things. Oh yeah, I have a bunch of items I need to sell. Um, is basically get the rest of these up. It's uh, Magic, Divine, Lightning, Fire, and Chaos are the ones I have left. Because I just did a Cult... And I just did crystal. Yeah, crystal. Um, uh, kind of odd. I kind of want to do them now. Because if I do them now, it means that I don't have to go back through the entire game to get embers again. 
to... Yeah, it means I don't have to go back through the game again to get the embers so I can level them up properly. Um, yeah, blue titanite slab, white titanite slab, regular titanite slab, red chunks, each of them ending in a uh, in a uh, red slab. I believe it's two, three, another three, so that's seven, and then... Uh, and then one slab each. So that's kind of a bit. And and if you don't know what is actually needed to like where to get those, it we have to actually go down below. Uh one of the uh one of the best grinding spots in the game is either I go back to the, um, I, uh, the creatures with all the eyes, or I go down here, and I traverse through here. Now, if I remember correctly, I can actually come back out, so... Mm. It's kind of cool. This is a cool place. So, uh, this is the kiln. Kiln? Whatever. Um... And as you can see, it's, um, looks post-apocalyptic. And the enemies that you find down there are Black Knights. Not just any Black Knights. Respawning Black Knights. Well, at least I believe. It'd be really sad if they don't. This is where you could find a bunch of um, upgrade items. And it is fairly useful now that we're basically done with the game to basically get up exactly what we need. to the highest level and these enemies have there we go these enemies have a chance to drop their items as well so you know fairly good uh the problem is is that we have uh is that we're actually running high um item discovery meaning that their weapons are going to drop a lot less frequently Why are they even, like, allow me to get up here if there's nothing up here? Um, the other thing that this area has is the final, uh, the final outfit for us to get in this playthrough. Because we're going to have to go through a second playthrough of the game to get the remaining ones. Uh, just off the top of my head, um, Ornstein and Smo, you can't get both of them without going to New Game Plus. Uh, you can't get the final boss's armor without doing it. Uh, you, you can do the DLC stuff before you go to New Game Plus, but... I'm personally going to wait until New Game Plus to do the DLC. Yeah, take that. Yeah. 
If you ever wanted to know why uh, these enemies were so hard to take out, it's because they're literally like endgame. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And that's what I like to see. Yeah, now I got a full set. Um, and we're actually moder um, rolling moderately okay. So, um, yeah, so that's basically the final outfit for us before we encounter the final boss. And, again, before we do that, we have a few things to upgrade and stuff. So, uh, but, what are you doing? Um, but, I will be... Doing the final boss probably at the end of the episode. Yeah, there we go. Really don't like the axe guys, they're kind of mean. White chunk. There we go. E. That was incredibly dangerous. There you go. We got the halberd. You know, last minute, uh, last minute addition to our roster, but hey, got it. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, somewhere over here is where we can summon in, and we will do that um, when we get back, but now I gotta make the journey back up and check to see if these guys actually come back. Yeah, so it does happen every single time. Um, all of the... Black Knights coming down here give off exactly one item every time and then they have a chance to drop an additional item. So if you go through all of them you get at least one type of chunk except for green I believe. Uh, I got one blue chunk at least two. I got one red and one white. So so yeah, that is something. I can at least do this and I'm grinding for multiple things at once and I could sell the items that they drop for a high price. So I guess I'll be doing this for a while. Okay, so now that I have gotten enough of them, I have uh, put both of them at the red slab state. So let's just put them to the fire weapon. Um, so yeah, I need a red slab multiple regular slabs honestly a blue and a white slab now if I remember correctly there are actually ways to get it but they're kind of rare I could wait all the way up until we finish the next playthrough to get them which I might actually do but at the end of the day, like, I do kind of want to finish all that up before we go on to the next one. Uh, I'll let you know uh, when I when I come back. Oh, before we do the boss, uh, I just wanted to show this off because I completely forgot about that. You can actually roll in and you get a different cutscene for when you're into this place. Yeah, it's 
neat. Fortunately, there isn't a uh, good way up now that uh, he's gone. But thankfully, we do have the uh, warp back to the Lord Vessel. So, uh, let's go in there. <sighs> okay, so this is the thing that I wanted to do the entire time. Summoning in Solaire for the final boss, because, you know, we saved him. We might as well help him go the rest of the way. Yeah. I just realized that I don't have, uh, Praise the Sun because I'm not part of the, uh, Uh, not part of the Covenant. Which I am probably going to have to get to that level at some point. I'll probably do that on the next uh, step of the journey. Well, here we go. Bam! <laughs> so, um, Gwyn is not a hard boss. You may think it's kind of weird that the final boss is not at all difficult and is completely chumped out by, uh, by, uh, <laughs> parries, but hey. You're supposed to get that feeling. It's like, wow. That's, uh... That's kind of depressing. Thanks, Solaire. Uh, yeah, so that's just how the game ends. Like, you may think it's like, what? And it's like, yeah, the game literally ends. I walk into a room, I, I, uh, parry him a few times, and he's, he's just gone. And it's, you know, it's really interesting. If you kind of look into certain aspects of the story, you're like, oh, the, this guy who took down legions of dragons, which, uh, which took armies for humans to take out, just, is, just, not even as strong as the enemies that were outside the room. And so I was like, oh, that's, that's fairly sad. And I was like, yeah. Huh. I'm gonna just let this go for a bit. So I'm gonna be uh, back in the next episode. See you guys then.